Hey guys, welcome back to At A Glance. This is Jake with Matt Kite, and I'm super stoked to share this new product that we have with you. This is the all new Monera Halo Adaptive Shell Harness. We've had the opportunity to demo this a few times. All the guys here at the shop are super, super stoked to be on it. What makes it so awesome? Let's open this bad boy up and see the magic. So to get the process started, it's gonna come in its own little box. Simply open it up. Right when you open it up, you have the harness right here that you can pull out. It's not gonna have the spreader bar attached. This harness does include a rope and a hook uh, spreader bar, as well as the hook knife. Uh, so this, this kit is complete when you purchase it. You don't need to add on any accessories, you're good to go. Right inside, it's gonna have the spreader bar with the hook as the default attachment. You can see on the back with these rivets, you can remove that and you'll be able to install the included rope that comes with it. We'll reach in here, pull that out. It's gonna be really, really easy to install once you remove those. You're gonna simply loop that on underneath, um, pull off that hook and you're good to go. Um, the hook knife is gonna be included on the harness, not the spreader bar. Uh, this is a really beefy spreader bar, really strong steel attachment. And these new winglets right here are gonna help to mold into the harness. You've seen this with the Mystic Stealth spreader bar. Uh, it really provides a lot of security. The spreader bar doesn't toss and turn quite as much. It doesn't pull up as much um, when the kite's pulling up ahead. Uh, so we're really, really stoked to see that the Midnight Harness includes these for a really locked in fit. So getting into the actual harness itself, you can see that we've installed the spreader bar here. Um, this is called an adaptive shell harness. Uh, so what Monero went with uh, for this harness design is they looked at all the things that made a soft shell harness great. Uh, that's a really plush, comfortable feel. Uh, but the downside with it is when the kite's pulling on you, uh, there's not much rigidity. So that energy transfer goes right into the soft shell harness uh, and it's going to rotate it. It's gonna cause torsion on, on the actual harness and on your body. Um, so what companies did then is they came up with hard shell harnesses. So this harness is an adaptive shell harness. So Monera went about uh, to take what they saw as the best things from soft shell harnesses and from hard shell harnesses and marry this all into one design. So what we like about soft shell harnesses is they tend to be very comfortable on the body. Um, they have a bit more flex, a bit more comfort. Um, you don't have to size them quite as exactly as a hard shell. Um, so that's what this shell is right here. It's a really thin neoprene material. Um, because of the adaptive back plate plus the hard shell, they feel like you can get away with a more minimal fit. You don't need all that cush um, padding. And this thing is comfortable on the water. It does still have a little bit of padding on the sides here. Um, this neoprene layer is comfortable, but it's really, really light. Um, and it also doesn't retain a lot of water, which is a nice feature. This back plate right here, again, is part of the adaptive feature. Um, you can see that's gonna have some flex to it. It's gonna contour really well to your body. Um, then they went ahead and they added this hard shell support bar across the back. What's nice about this is it allows the harness to flex and fit to your body. Um, but when the kite's really yanking on you, this bar right here stiffens the harness um, and gives it the structure so it doesn't deform and warp based on your kite's pull. This is a really, really unique combination, and it's really, really comfortable on the water. It's light, it's responsive, uh, and it does work. Honestly, it, it feels like a really great marriage between the two. Uh, it's definitely more in the minimal side, uh, and you'll notice that right when you try it on. Uh, this minimal padding, uh, it's, it's not as plush, as grippy as other harnesses, um, but for me personally, when I'm on the water, um, that means there's less pressure points, it feels like a better molded fit to my body, and I still have that stiffness that I like from my hard shell harnesses in back here. So to put this system on, you're going to simply lift up and push out on that clasp right there. You're gonna open this up, and like most harnesses, it's gonna have two open neoprene, neoprene straps that go across your waist. It's important to note the hook knife is included with this harness and it's right here in this little eyelet. So you're going to go ahead, wrap this harness right around your back, pull across the neoprene sleeves. It should fit pretty, when it comes to sizing, 
Um, you want it to be relatively tight, not too loosey-goosey. You're going to go ahead, slide the eyelets in on either side. There's specific little pouches for them. You're going to go ahead and take that clasp, hook it underneath, and push down and it locks in. From there, you're going to go ahead, pull the little straps, and really you're locked in. You can always kind of yank it back and forth with your hands before rigging up your kite and putting it on the water. Um, pull up and down. Uh, you don't want it biting in any place, um, but overall this is this is the right fit for me. Okay, so some of the features that make this Monero harness so awesome. First, they've really designed this harness uh, to have different replacement parts. So often with the harness, you get some loose stitching, you get a little bit of tear, and you have to bend the entire thing or try to do a DIY repair to bring it back to life. With this halo harness, all of these different components can be replaced and will be in stock with us at MacKite as well as Monera. That means you can change out this adaptive plate, the bar, you can get new straps, you can get a new spreader bar, you can get a new harness loop attachment on the other side. This is really designed to reduce waste and give you a lot of longevity with your harness. So as things wear out, you can replace them and keep using the same core shell. The other neat feature, as we discussed earlier, is with the, the hook and the rope. You can simply go right here on these rivets, undo that, pull it apart, pop on the, the rope spreader bar, and you're good to go. It's a really, really fast replacement, and the fact that it's included is a very nice feature. When it comes to sizing, this harness is available in extra small, small, small plus, medium, medium plus, large, extra large. The small plus and the medium plus are the exact same harness size as the small and medium respectively, um, but they include a larger spreader bar. Um, that's gonna be designed for people who maybe have a little bit of extra belly or who have wider hips. Um, that allows you to use that harness size that's gonna best fit your body, but it's gonna stretch a little bit more with that spreader bar. This harness is available in two colors. It comes in black and then it comes in steel blue gray. Um, it's a really unique, looking harness. Um, it's going to get a lot of attention on the beach. It has a little attachment right here on the side for your leash. One other additional feature with this harness, uh, even though it's designed to reduce weight and it does include the rope to swap out, if you want the fastest swap out there, you can purchase an additional spreader bar, rig it with the rope. How this dual clasp system works right here is you simply slide that in, hook, push down, you're locked in. Those clasps are on either side of the harness. So this is really easy to get this front spreader bar on and off. So with these clasps, you hook underneath, push down, and it locks right into place. So again, it has this clasp system on both sides. So pull up, lift out, hook in, push down, you're in business. For a very quick swap, up, up, out. I've removed the spreader bar. I can swap out to the rope spreader bar, 30 seconds. Other than that, it's a fairly simple harness once you wrap your head, head around it. Uh, it's a novel concept. Does it work? Is it worth it? So far, yes. We're super, super stoked on this harness. Um, everybody who's been in it so far has been a really big fan. So we're excited to see how the market reacts to this. But so far, this gets two thumbs up from the crew at Matt Kite. Guys, thank you very much for checking this out. This has been Jake with At A Glance.